Okay, then we got the drum solo, and here goes part two. So we're going to start out with this riff, 3 and 6, doing a trill, then 5 and 8, then 6 and 10, then 8 and 12. So let's look at those four again. So we've got 3 and 6, 5 and 8, 6 and 10, 8 and 12, 10 and 13, 12 and 15, 13 and 17, and 15 and 18. Then we're going to start this little riff. So that's four sets of threes there, so we do double pull-offs from the 18 to 17 to 15. Then we're jumping up here to the 20, 18, and 17, and then back. Now we're going lower to the 17, 15, and 13. So let's look at all those again. So we start kind of middle, we go up, we come down, we go low. Now we're gonna jump all the way to the 22nd fret, 22, 20, and 18. So there we do, do two sets of each, so. So let's look at all what we got right there. Okay, then we got this part. We got a one and three trill down here. Three and five, five and six, six and eight, eight and ten, ten and twelve, twelve and thirteen, thirteen, fifteen, fifteen, seventeen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty, and twenty-two. And you hit that one at the end, so you got. Alright, and then you got some, I make some crazy noise and stuff, I'll go into like. Mm -hmm. 
do some silly stuff. And then when you come back, the drums bring you back in and you're back into your riff. So that was just your two, four, two, three, four, five. Let me do it again this time. So three of that riff where you where you bend the five up. flat chord, and a C chord, and then you're back to like your G minor to finish it off. I like to go like a... Something like that, and I can improvise the end. Okay, so that was Frankenstein. Hope you dug that. Please like and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.